I intend like, to be completely fair. Yeah, sure. I, I promise you. Because if you want to say fair grounds, mm. you introduced me as a Palestinian controversial... I actually host. corrected myself. Right, so... I said pro-Palestinian. I meant to say pro-Palestinian. So why did the word controversial come into play? I think you're controversial. So are you. Yeah, I wouldn't... So is the ambassador. Why didn't, right. you, why didn't you introduce her in that manner? I, I'm happy to say that to many people, her views would be controversial. So why didn't you introduce me as the Oxford graduate? Do you want to be introduced as that? Yes. OK, you're an Oxford graduate. Go ahead. OK. In our religion, we do not believe, OK, as a Muslim, I am a Muslim, and I do not believe in the killing of any man, woman or children, um, non-combatants. That is because of the religious teaching. So in terms of condemning Hamas and just jumping straight into mm. it, I condemn not only Hamas, but any other entity uh, wherein it's proven that this has been done, that the killing of combatants has been done. Therein, I condemn any party that does it. That's why I condemn the IDF, because when they strike, they know that it's more probably than not going to hit civilian targets. We know that because now in Gaza you find that they're a blockade, as you know, for 17 years, but also they're stopping them from electricity, water, which is a war crime under Geneva 4 of the, uh, of the Geneva Convention. Poor surprise you didn't actually mention to the ambassador. Well, I, did say, mention, I did mention it. You didn't say it's a war crime. Well, I think it's an arguable point whether it's a war crime. OK, let me ask you now. Things, they, they are saying, Israel, at the moment, Israel is adamant. Sure, they sure. are not breaching war crimes. But what happened on October the 7th was a war crime. People are taking grandmothers yeah. and executing them, yeah. kidnapping young children yeah. when they're sh killing babies in their cribs. We can agree that's war crime, right? Babies in the crib. Uh, sorry, what was the evidence for that? But one baby who's, who's been charred and that video, that picture has been put up on Twitter and has been refuted. Uh, that, that's completely untrue. That's your source. Mohammed, that's Mohammed, your source. It, there's been a thorough investigation into the so, claim that was put up there by some rogue person on Twitter that it was AI. What's it was your on source? The Telegraph what's is your a, source? Is a genuine... What's your source? Picture. What is your source? Are you seriously arguing that yes, babies yes. weren't killed? Well, you've been fired from the Daily Mirror for fake images. Mm. If you have pro-Palestinian uh, activists who are saying, actually, we need to see a source, shouldn't they be entitled to the that? The Daily Telegraph published on page three... Should they be entitled to that, you're yes talking no? about. Daily yes, Telegraph the said... Evidence? The Daily Telegraph said they verified the picture. It's, it's, if, uh, that's a secondary source. Right, you may say... That's you, secondary source. You may say about here, you're not contesting that babies were killed. No, I'm saying I want to see the evidence. So why verified by British journalists? Why are you picking on that? British some, journalists some are not example of somehow this wasn't as bad as it seems. British journalists are not an academic authority. Already 1,023 children have been killed in Gaza. And you didn't ask the ambassador that question, I literally you? asked the ambassador. No, no, I said 3,000 people have already been killed in a week sure, in Gaza. Well, you, I'm asking a question. Do you condemn the killing of those children by the IDF? I'll tell you what I condemn. I yes can, or no? I'm going to answer your question honestly and truthfully. Sure. And I, because I've tweeted about this, right? Oh, okay. I think that what happened on October the 7th was one of the worst atrocities I have ever had to read about or watch on. It happens videos. every day in Palestine. No, no. So why do you care about it, that? It actually so doesn't. It doesn't. It, it does actually. No, no. Yes. No. The Israeli forces. I've got the stats for that. Israeli like. forces do not go. Cast lead. Wait a minute. Mohammed. Edge. Go and check it. Mohammed. Israeli forces. Cast lead, protective edge. Israeli forces don't go into Gaza on yeah. one day and grab grandmothers and kill babies in Wait, their beds okay, okay. and no, no, hold on. Uh, rape and abuse women. So, uh, rape, is there any evidence for that? There, it's been re multiple reports no, in multiple no, no. What, mainstream media whom? publications. Whom? He said you I don't believe any of the reports that women were raped? No, I didn't say that. I said that it's still to well, be Do you think they were raped? No, I don't know. It's like the uh, Russell Brand thing. You said we don't know any of the evidence. So why do you apply uh, uh, two I'm different not. standards? I'm okay, so it's been why reported. Why when it's Israel, we know they're raped. When no, it's Russell Brand, it's you been, don't know because you're No, it's been reported by legitimate news sources. When it's Israel, you know they're raped. But when it's Russell Brand, you don't know. When it's Russell Brand, you There's don't know no if it's a comparison rape between Russell Brand and what's happening. It's the here. same thing, it's a rape allegation. Why are you, why are you stuttering? I'm not stuttering. You are stuttering. You don't you, have any You're concerned. 1,300 people yeah. were brutally 2, murdered. 2,000 people have been killed on the other side. Abused. 2,000 people have been, have been kid killed on the I other side. I said that to the ambassador. OK, but do you condemn that, yes or no? I don't think So any... you refuse to condemn? No. You do refuse to why condemn. Why are you putting words in my mouth? Because you're not, you're not condemning it, are you? What do you want me to condemn? Condem Israel's okay, right. excellent. What do I want you to condemn? Yes. I want you to condemn the fact that the IDF, knowing that it's more probable than not, mm. pressing buttons from the sky, mm -hmm. killing innocent civilians, yep. 1,000 of them children, that that is a war crime and that is not acceptable morally. Just like I you believe, condemn the other one. Is it condemnable or not? I believe, given the scale of what Hamas did on October the 7th, Go Israel is entitled to... To kill defend. children? No. 
It's not what I said. Go ahead. They're entitled to defend themselves with how? force. If Israel's purpose is to rid the world of Hamas, how do they do that, given that Hamas embeds itself in civilian areas? Can how do you not kill civilians? Beautiful. Can I, can I, I don't ask... like any civilian death. Do you mind if I answer I don't question? endorse any civilian death. Well, no, no, do no. I you don't condemn it, though. Hang on. Yeah. No, and here's why. Because I support Israel's right to defend okay. itself. Beautiful. Now, can, can I say no, something? No, no, one more point. So then Go you ahead. can reply. Sure. But the question then becomes, what is proportionate? OK, okay so let me respond to so you. So can you tell me? You've spoken for about two minutes. You didn't do that with the ambassador, by the way. I'm just showing you, you're saying mm -hmm. fair, but, but you're not being fair. I've said okay, so, so let me just, let me paint a I picture. I will be fair. I'm, I'm, sure, sure. I'm genuinely interested in Fine. what you have to say. Right, excellent. You're, you're from Irish de descent. We know that there was an IRA yes. in Belfast and so on. OK, so let me ask you a question mm -hmm. now. If there was IRA, IRA in Belfast mm -hmm. and they were occupying council properties and so on, and then we have a plane of RAF going to destroy that council property, mm -hmm. destroy all of Belfast, Flatten it, mm. as one uh, representative said, got live. Mm. Uh, the IDF said that, um, uh, one of the uh, IDF members said that we, we, we will flatten it completely. Mm. That's what we want to do. Mm. We don't care about accuracy, he said. Mm. We will care about damage. That's mm. what he said. Mm. The, you didn't question her about that. But anyway, if the RAF were to then go into Belfast and dis flatten as the IDF and these guys want to do, if they want to flatten Belfast, with all the white people, mm. I'm going to use the term white, mm -hmm. all the white people, council estates living in there, with the excuse that we're doing it because it's proportional, uh, proportionate uh, defense mm. to uh, the terrorists. What would you say about that? Uh, here's what I would say to you. Is that acceptable or unacceptable? Here's what I would say to you. Yeah. The IRA uh, committed a series of atrocities mm -hmm. over numerous decades. Mm -hmm. They targeted, in their eyes, military and political targets. They usually gave some form of warning, not always. OK. They, they were terrorists? No, no, they were terrorists. Sure. They never, ever went out one day and committed the barbaric slaughter of 1,300... Irrelevant. No, no. If they did, if they I'm did. sorry, it's if not they irrelevant. Did. If they did. No, Mohammed. If they did. Here's why it's not irrelevant. Okay. They, ne they never did. But if they did, they never would, you, did. would you accept that the RAF to flatten by the way, Belfast? There were outrages committed by... My law question is... By if, the loyal, loyalist parliamentaries excuse me. too. My question is, my if point. they did, they never came, would you think it's acceptable They never or not? came close to committing an outrage if on that they, scale, If right? they did, is it acceptable they to flatten They never went Belfast? in and kidnapped grandmothers or killed babies if in cribs. Did, is it acceptable or not? They believe they were fighting, for better or worse, and I believe for worse, and that's why I'm glad peace was found. They believe they were fighting... My question. Political and military targets. I'm trying to bring it closer to home. But to you're you. trying to compare apples and oranges. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's you that's the, doing that. The, the only comparison that I would say that we saw from October the 7th and what Hamas did is with ISIS. Excuse me. It's the uh, only uh, comparison. Do, do you mind if I, so, let me witness. ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. A Palestinian. And ISIS were taken out, by the way, with no, plane, with planes. Me. No, no. Here's my. You didn't do this with the ambassador. I'm going to finish. You did this with Ben Shapiro, which you gave the show to him. No, no. Hang on. I'm giving you, you plenty of time. No, you're not. I'm giving you plenty. You asked about the analogy of a plane flying over, yeah, yeah. targeting. But you didn't answer my question. But that did happen, Mohammed, with ISIS. Would you accept to get Belfast of... to be flattened? No, wait a minute. Or not? Yes no, or no? Wait a minute. It never happens. So the like for like isn't. It's not. It's a hypothesis. It's not. It's not. I don't do hypotheticals. You don't do hypotheticals. No, no. Let's deal with reality. Okay. Let's deal with reality. Now, let me, let me finish. Then you can ask. So you don't want to ask a question. No. Here's the reality. British of, public can see this. Here's the reality, yeah. right? Let's just, British public can see this. Yeah, they can see it. Yeah, go on. They listen to the keep, debate. Keep going. Right? I, for what it's worth, I think it's a good debate to have. Right? These are questions many people on the pro-Palestinian side are having. I get it. I get it. Right? But you're trying to compare what happened on October the 7th with the IRA. No, I'm not. I'm comparing... I use the I'm hypothetical Wait a minute, Mark. Question. I'm comparing it to ISIS. And the way that the world ISIS. in the end dealt with ISIS actually was to use airstrikes. Okay. And many civilians were killed. There's a huge difference Many innocent the people two, died. You're not, you They're don't not. You don't. Hamas, I read his fatwas. Hamas aren't defending themselves. Bin Laden wasn't okay. defending himself. Define defense. Bin Laden was trying well, to kill defense? as many of the enemy as but, possible. Let me ask you a question. How could it be that an occupier is defending itself in the first place. The, the, the notion that Israel is defending itself mm. is as absurd as the notion that the rapist is defending itself from the victim. Mm. Because Israel is the occupier. I, do, I believe that Israel's made a number of bad choices. That's not answering my question. Wait, I'm telling you what I think. You're not answering my question. I'm telling you what I think. Sure, go ahead. OK? I don't think Israel's been perfect at all. Right? You should I have think, had the moral high ground. I, that... I think a lot of the decisions Israel's taken are wrong. I think Benjamin Netanyahu, by the way, his attempts to usurp the power of the Supreme Court this year in Israel has been a complete disaster. Do you condemn them right? from killing civilians or not? I do not... De I, I will defend them this week. Yes or no? Wait. Yes I or will, no? I will defend them 
this week in defending themselves against one of the worst terror attacks ever. So you can kill right? civilians for that? You, you can target Hamas... Can you target... No, hold on, excuse And if Hamas, no, 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 if Hamas me. the controlling, no, no, governing, excuse me, excuse ruling me. No, no, no. body you, fine. in, target in Hamas. Gaza, no, no, but hide this amongst is a false the public, fact. This is a false but fact. members of the public excuse will me. die. This, you're talking about fallacies. This is called the Morton Bailey fallacy, mm. which is that you're trying to defend one controversial idea by mm. using another. It's Morton Bailey fallacy. You can check it up in your own time. The point is this. I'm not asking you whether Israel has a right to defend itself. Mm. We've already said of the, impos- the logical and legal impossibility the logical and legal impossibility of an occupying power, mm. according to international law, of actually defending itself because it's already... Let me finish. Got... Let me finish. Oh, no. It's already in an offensive posture. Now, I'm saying this. If it is the case, you're just mm. saying it's defending itself against Hamas. Mm. Is the only way to defend itself against Hamas by dropping bombs in the most densely populated area, mm. one of the most densely populated areas in the world? Is that the only way? Mm. It's a false dichotomy. You're creating a false dichotomy. They could do surgery. They can do it. I have. They can do. They can Mohammed. go in and they can target. We're uh, going to take Hamas. a short break. Surprise! Look, Ham- even Hamas, some four or five years ago, they even agreed to the 1967 lines, the borders. And what, what you have to understand that this cannot be scapegoated on Hamas because before Hamas's existence, this was still going on. This was going on before Israel's existence. But do you believe in a, in a two-state solution? No, I, I believe in. Look, even Hamas was proposing a two-state solution. No, but do you believe in it? Look, there's advantages and disadvantages. This is a different... I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a difficult one. I'll be Could honest you imagine you. two states next to each other living in peace? It's Palestine, a, Israel. Look, it's a possibility. I mean, as I say, even Hamas was saying that that's a possibility. Mm-hmm. I mean, this was four years ago. But what I want to bring to your attention is that nothing can happen if the international body or the UN becomes a toothless agency. In 2018 to 19, when uh, actually 221 people were killed on a peaceful protests in Gaza. It was called the Great Mar- March of Gaza. 220 people, what people died. Hamas didn't shoot a bullet. Uh, no rocket was launched, yeah? So 220 people died, and this is um, narrate, even mentioned by the UN and, and, and these kind of agencies. They tried to bring it up, the Palestinian Authority, to... They tried to bring this up to the, what we call the ICJ, which is part of the UN, mm. okay? What happened is the Donald Trump administration, they, fro- they threatened to freeze the assets of the ICJ, which, which sh- tells you the following. What are the Palestinian people to do? Because the fact of the matter is, if they try and bring it up... Let me ask you. No, no, right, let, let me, let me ask finish you. the point. I, if I they get, try and bring, let me just finish the point. If they try and bring it We're up... We're running out of time. That's why I'm jumping well, in. If they try and bring it up to international law, it's, it's thwarted. I, I do think if international, they're trying to boycott, international law matters. Sure. I just don't believe... That any peace can be achieved with Hamas in charge. Do you? Before Hamas... Now, there was, after what happened last before, weekend. Forget about last weekend. Last weekend is... Can't been, forget about last weekend. No, it's not... Before last weekend, before Hamas mm-hmm. in 1987, this was still going on. But not on this scale. And Worse. Not, no, it wasn't it was, as bad as this. What are you talking about? What happened on October that, Sorry, that shows ignorance was of history. ...was the single worst assault on a populace since Kippur. 9-11. It no, was. Yom Kippur War was 2,600 people died, by the way. 1973. That's false. In one day... In one day, I don't know, about 600 people died in one Mohammed, day. Mohammed, I've got to leave it there. We've run out of time. I gave you more time than I planned to. Sure. I hope you appreciate that. Thank you And I appreciate much. you coming in.